Hi, my name is Daisy Fallon Freeman. I'm a fourth grade student at Walton Verona Elementary School. The Walton Verona Independent School District is one of the top 10 school districts in the state of Kentucky. At its helm is Superintendent Dr. Matt Baker and the school board, which has the power to levy taxes. This year, there are three open seats. I interviewed all seven candidates on the ballot, and here's what they have to say. Why are you running for school board? Casey, I'm running for school board because I feel like my personal and professional experience lends well to me to be able to help guide and support the district um, in making decisions to help the district work well for the students of the district, the teachers and staff in the district, and the community. What do you bring to the table that your opponents do not? They say, I feel like my ability to view any issue that we face as a Board of Education through a lens that always looks at how, does it, how do our decisions impact our students first. Then I look at how do those decisions impact the teachers and staff at Walton Verona and how do those, in, those decisions impact the community. Always, every decision that I make is, is first and foremost, how are our students going to be impacted. What are the most important issues in your race and how do you plan to address them? Well, our district is faced this year with something we haven't been faced with in quite some time and that's a brand new superintendent. Um, that's a wonderful thing for our district and I think that um, with that new superintendent comes a lot of team building and planning and adjustments to where we're going in the future and I would work very closely with Dr. Baker to help him build district alliances and regional alliances to help continue to um, move us into the future and to help us grow and develop um, the culture that is so strong here at Walton Verona that makes us who we are. Um, continue to work with the district staff and teachers to provide the best quality of education available and to provide them with a good school experience, a good experience overall. Part of that experience, again, we talked a minute ago about our extracurricular programs, um, our athletics programs, our arts, our music, our clubs, and all of those things that come after school. Um, those activities lend an opportunity for our students to to find and grow skills and talents that they may or may not have known they had. And I feel like the teachers and coaches and sponsors that support those programs are extremely important to the community and we have to continue to support those um, in our district. We also have the issue of um, our teachers and our staff re receive a small cost of living adjustment annually. Um, but what we're finding is that we're no longer competitive with other districts in our region. And we continue each year to lose some of our staff and teachers because of that. So I think it's time to reevaluate that and make sure that we are um, compensating our teachers and staff um, in, in the best way possible to help retain and, and um, encourage others to come to our district. Think of Walton Rona Independent School District 20 years from now. What three things must we address now to make it better for our kids of this district? Daisy, I think we all have to continue to look into the future and I think for our district to continue to be the awesome and, and solid district that we are, first and foremost, we have to retain our high quality teachers and staff. We also have to look forward at the facilities planning because our community is going to continue to grow and we're going to continue to get more students into our district and we have to figure out where we're going to put those. Um, and also we have to grow and support our extracurricular activities and programs. Um, with being a fairly rural community, having teams, clubs, programs after school hours for our students um, is really important. I'm a real firm believer that if we're providing activities and things for our kids to do after school that are supported by our school district, our, the students in our community are going to be far less likely to become involved in activities that are less productive for the community. I am an out-of-district student. That means I pay tuition to the school district and the amount of taxes you levy on local residents, but tuition students and their families do not have representation on the school board. What will you do to represent my interests now and in the future? 
Well, Daisy, the way I see it is if you are a student in the Walton Verona District, you are a student in the Walton Verona District. And I, as a board member, do not differentiate between the out of district students and the in district students. So I'll go back to that lens I look through when I make any decision for the district. It's what's best for our students, all of them, regardless of in or out of district, is my highest priority. Is there anything else you would like to add? Um, I've spent the last four years on the school board, and I feel like that in that time, I have served with professionalism, respect, and respect not only for the community and the district that I serve, but also with the people that I serve with. Um, in my tenure, I served on the search committee for the superintendent, and I'm very proud of the committee um, and the job that we did in researching and interviewing and um, selecting the candidates that we recommended to the school board. In my position on the school board then, I was also involved in the final selection of Dr. Baker, and I stand behind that decision as a very positive decision for our district and feel like moving forward, Dr. Baker is going to be a wonderful addition to our, to our team. Um, I'm proud of all the decisions that I've been part of in the last four years in the district, and um, I can assure the voters that if I am reelected, that they can count on me to continue to make the best decisions that I um, can for our students and the teachers and staff in our district and for our community. Access all my interviews and candidate profiles at my website, differentfocus.com. That's www.dff, like my initials, R-E-N-T-F-O-C-U-S dot com. The election is on Tuesday, November 6, 2018. From the Walton Verona Independent School District, I am your Bearcat Cub reporter, Daisy Fallon Freeman.